Well, another positive case today among Denver air traffic controllers caused ripple effects for flights. FAA workers had to be moved so their workspace could be deep clean. And it left thousands of passengers on standby. Flights were delayed and dozens of planes grounded. Number 7's Addy Guajardo joins us live at 10 from the airport with the latest. Uh, so how are we looking right now, Addy? Well, Shannon and Jessica, things are getting back on track out here. Planes are arriving and departing. And there's only about 30 delays at this moment, but that wasn't the case earlier today. The airport issued a complete ground stop around 3:30 today when they had to stagger flights, which caused delays. And here's why: that's because four FAA employees have tested positive for COVID-19 at the same building. The first case was in late October, and today was the latest case. Those employees work at an air traffic control facility at DIA. Now that's different than the air traffic control tower, but is still in charge of directing air traffic. Now, air controllers had to be moved into a backup room so that the main room could get deep cleaning. A DIA spokesperson estimates nearly 200 flights were delayed and 45 were canceled during that transition. Now, we spoke with a mother worried about her son who says he was set to fly into Denver. She says he was pulled off his plane in Montana and told his flight would be delayed due to weather. It's less scary knowing what the actual problem was. But when you're told when you're told it's the weather and you're looking outside and it's like, OK, there's a breeze. Now, she says DIA and FAA should have been more transparent about what was going on. Her son was delayed for about three hours, but the good news is he is back in Denver and home with his family tonight. Now, things are getting back to normal out here. It is cold. It's actually so cold. I've got some tears running down my face right now. So before you head out to catch your flight, you'll want to check online to see if there's any delays. Reporting live at Denver International Airport, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.